Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an iPhone 12 that won't charge on a wireless charger. I'll be going over an easy fix, some easy ways to ensure that your iPhone 12 is charging properly on your wireless charger. Let's get right into the video. First and foremost, we're going to be looking at the charger itself. So what you want to do is use the charger with another device and make sure that the charger actually charges that other device wirelessly. So you want to make sure that the charger itself is working, okay? And if the charger itself does not charge another device, then maybe it's a problem with the charger instead of the iPhone, okay? Um, step two is if that it doesn't work with another device, then you wanna try wiggling the cord. Oftentimes, with many wired and wireless chargers, the cord, because they're so thin and sort of, after a while, we, we bend them like crazy all the time, they sort of deteriorate and they don't work properly. So wiggle the cord in a few different spots while trying to charge another device and see if that helps, okay? Um, the third thing that you can do is change up the brick that you're using, the power brick that you're using, that you're connecting the wireless charger to, because maybe it's the, the actual charging brick that's the problem, okay? The fourth thing is when you're gonna start to fool around with your iPhone. So you're gonna wanna take it, this isn't plugged in right now, so obviously it's not gonna charge, okay? But you're gonna wanna take it and move it around on the charger, okay? Now, if you have a MagSafe charger and the MagSafe charging system, then you don't have to do this because it only goes on, boom, in one spot. But if you're like me and you're using a different wireless charger, then you wanna take the phone, move it around on the charger ever so slightly, see if maybe the phone just isn't hitting the right spot on the charger, okay? So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing is remove the case. Oftentimes, um, if you have a thicker case, a more protective case, then it's gonna obstruct the wireless charging capabilities. It might still work, but it won't work as efficiently or effectively. And you might need to get the phone on the charger more precisely with the case on it. Um, so take the case off, move the phone around, see if that works. Last but not least is maybe your phone is just glitching and you want to sort of do a force restart on the phone, which simulates a battery pull um, on any other device. So if you have another device and you know when you, when you pull out the battery and put the battery back in, it's sort of like doing that, but with the iPhone 12. Um, so to do a force restart with the iPhone 12, it's very simple. I'll tell you how to do it. I won't show you how to do it because I don't want to force restart my phone right now, but you want to essentially press and release the volume up button press and release the volume down button, and then press and hold down the power button. So once again, press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold down the power button. Press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold down the power button. Until the Apple logo appears, then you can release the power button, and then you force restart it, or sort of like, you know, simulated a battery pull on your iPhone 12. That's it, that is how to hopefully fix the problem for you. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.